Hi, my name is Allison, and in this video tutorial, I will be showing you different ways to edit text in Scribus, including how to link text boxes and create style headings. So first, we're going to start with a blank Scribus document. You can use any of the different fold styles available, but for this video, I'll just be using the single page style. So we're going to start by inserting a text box. It's pretty simple. Just click this button up here, insert text frame. I'm going to make my text box cover the entire page. So I have it right on the blue margin lines. Now we have to put text in our text box. You can type in the text box, of course, random letters. Um, you can copy and paste your text too. But Scribus does have a cool little feature that helps if you have a lot of text to transfer over from another document. Right click on your text box and go up to Get Text. This opens up a file selection box where you can select the file with the text you would like to put in your new Scribus document. The only catch is you have to make sure it's in one of these file formats or else it doesn't work. So once we have our text, let's add another page. Go up to your page tab and then insert. You can pick however many pages you want and where you want to put them. I'm just going to do one. So we have our new page and let's put a text box on our new page. So again, I'm gonna go on the blue margin lines and another cool feature that Scribus has is the ability to link text boxes. Instead of copying and pasting the part of the text you want in each box, you can have them act as one giant text box. So click the first box we made. Then click this button up here, says link text frames. Click on the button, then click on your second box. This will link the text. It also changes what text is in which box based on how you resize your different text boxes. So if we make this box smaller, the lines of text that can't fit in this box now show up down here. So now we that we have our text in our text boxes, let's edit it. Right click on your first box again, then select edit text. This opens up a text editing box, which has a lot of options. It also has the entire document, so you don't have to do it for the other text boxes. You need to make sure that you highlight which part of the text you're going to change or else it won't work. We can change our font. We can change the size. We can make it underlined, as well as other features here. We can change the spacing between letters, and we can also change the justification. So just click this green check mark to see your changes. And the changes we just made are now on our document. So let's say you have a lot of text to be edited with different lines having the same style. Instead of changing the font, size, and other features of each individual line of text, Scribus offers style headings. You'll notice that in this text edit box, there's the default paragraph style selected for each line. We can make new styles that will show up here for whatever we want our lines to look like. To do that, go to your edit tab and then down to styles. Click on that and this box opens here. Click new and the most helpful style option is a paragraph style. So let's make a new one. And for this document, I'm going to name my new style character because it's going to be the style for the names of the characters in the play. This is kind of like the text edit box, but it has more options. 
You can change the color of the text, the font, style, size, and other options here. The properties tab, you can change how much the line, the space in between the lines is, and if you want it justified or not. And then let's click apply. And just to show you all the difference in the different types of headings, I'm going to make another one real quick. And I'm going to call this one line for the different, for the lines of the people in the play. I'll make this one this one red and then just click apply and then done. So now that we have different styles, let's add them to the text. Right click and go back into the edit text box. Now click on the line you want to change and click on the style heading that we just made. It automatically changes the justification in the text edit box preview, but the other changes will be made when we click the green check arrow. So I'm just going to make a couple changes here, just enough to see what we just did. Now when you click the green check mark, the styles we just made are on the different lines of text. And it took a lot less time than editing every single line. All right, y'all, I hope this tutorial was helpful in teaching you some different ways you can edit text in Scribus. Be sure to check out the other videos on this channel for more Scribus help as well as help with other computer applications. This video is brought to you by the Professional Writing Club. For more information, follow us on Twitter at PWClub at UAB and like us on Facebook at Professional Writing Club at UAB.